Well, good morning and welcome to another edition of Cooking with Dr. Mo. Today, we are going to assist our vegans and vegetarians in their holiday eating. Something that they can eat, you're not worried about them uh, only getting the crudite platter, only getting the spring roll, something unique for them. What we're going to do, we're going to do lasagna pinwheels. Yes, lasagna pinwheels. I have several things here for us, and we're just going to jump in and get started. All right. Now, what I've already done is uh, boil my lasagna noodles, kept them whole, in a nice little bath with just a little bit of salt just to give, give some seasoning to them. And something unique that I always do is chop up some fresh garlic in my water so it kind of soaks into those noodles and give your bland noodles some seasoning. So the first thing we're going to do, I've taken some ricotta cheese and put in uh, just a tap of um, egg white. Actually, it's an egg white substitute. Thinking about my vegans and vegetarians and a little black pepper. You're going to take your ricotta and just smear it down your lasagna noodle. Smear that down, especially concentrating on the ends. Get those ends in there so we can get them in really good and make sure to seal. Now, I'm just going to take some uh, spinach leaves, just been washed fresh. It doesn't matter if they hang over a little bit. It gives you a festive look as you move through. You want to make sure to go down that stem of the spinach leaves so it'll lay down. You got those in. Very good. Then I have shaved some zucchini with my mandolin just on a nice one and a half setting. Did a little shaving. We're going to put that shaved zucchini down, get it down the center. I generally, depending on the length of them, I generally will put um, one or two, sometimes three on just to get them in, move them through. And uh, they're still raw. Do not do any preparation, any boiling, any anything, because you're going to want still some of that crunch as you're cooking. Some shaved carrot. Put those down. And then something unique, just to keep some moisture in, I have some shaved celery. You know, celery is one of our water vegetables and um, it helps hold some of that nutrient in. The last thing we're gonna do with our pinwheel, I have created a little rub or a, a spice blend, if you will, using uh, some dried onion, garlic, black pepper, just a tap of salt. And has those mixed up together and then just a little paprika at the end to give us some color and then you're just going to sprinkle that down you can be rather generous with it that's why i didn't put a lot of salt in it so therefore we have some wonderful seasoning and that's it with our pinwheel now comes the adventurous part we're going to take our pinwheel and start to roll it up you're pressing down as you go to make sure to get all of that goodness in there. They'll definitely shift a little bit as you're rolling and it is fine. You have your pinwheel. You can see there on the side, I'll bring it a little closer, that wonderful goodness there. And then you're going to take your pinwheel and put it in your uh, prepared baking dish, a little bit of cooking spray. You're going to put it seam down, seam down in your baking dish. Very good. You have that there. Now, what will happen, it will start to cook. We're going to uh, prepare a sauce. When we first start cooking. Now, you're going to preheat your oven at 350. Get prepared. That's going to be in the oven about 45 minutes at 350. However, once you get 20 minutes in, you're going to apply your sauce. So, what I have done here with our sauce, I've prepared it in our blender. And again, I said it's for our vegans and vegetarians. I used uh, some fresh tomatoes, some basil and garlic, just blend those up together. Now, you may think, mm, vegan, vegetarian, how are we gonna do this? A unique hack that I have learned from one of my fellow chefs, I use pecans and actually put them in our mixture. 
the pecans give you the same texture as you would your ground beef, your ground turkey, ground pork, the same texture. It moves in the flavor. It takes on the flavor of that tomato sauce. Put it in, wonderful substitute. They're getting some extra protein. And trust me when I tell you, I have done this with some of my meat eaters and they have no idea that it's not meat. And I know two of them are watching now thinking, he got me. Yes, I did, just with our pecans. So you're gonna simply take your um, sauce and ladle it over your pinwheel. Put it back in the oven for another 20 minutes. For the last five minutes of your cooking and your prep, first of all, let me stop. You're going to cover your dish as you put it in the oven. It keeps that moisture in. It keeps them very moist. Then for the last five minutes, you're going to pull your dish out and just take some regular old um, mozzarella cheese. You can use the vegan mozzarella if you want to just be really stiff with that because I know some of my vegans won't do any dairy at all. So just to give you some options, sprinkle that over, put it back in the oven, uncover, and let it just get nice and bubbly and it starts to brown and you're ready to go with your pinwheels. And of course, as always, by miracle of television, we have some of our pinwheels ready. Of course, you know I have a knife and fork ready so we can go ahead and dig in. Now with my presentation, normally what I do, presentation is key. I will take some of my sauce, ladle it in the bottom of the plate and then stack our pinwheels in the plate and a wonderful, wonderful dish and presentation for our vegans and vegetarians. Trust me when I tell you, your meat eaters are gonna want it. But as usual, we have to go in, ready to go. Wonderful cut. Oh man. Ooh, look at there. Oh my goodness. We still have a wonderful crunch from our zucchini, from our carrots still in there. And that sauce mixture, oh, is amazing. I'm sorry guys, I have to take another bite. Cause sometimes we create recipes and we don't think how well they will turn out. I try my best to come up with wonderful things for you guys. Oh my goodness, it is out of this world. So, something great for your vegans and vegetarians, something great for just your regular dinner party. And folks will never know. So, as we always say, lighten up, it is Christmas. So hopefully we've helped you with your holiday, your wonderful holiday planning, and we are ready to go. Thank you so much for joining. These are our vegan vegetarian pinwheels. Have a great Sunday afternoon.